Okay, this is a tutorial on how to determine the resonant frequency of an object. In this case, I'm using this metal cup. And for recording the sound, I'm using this camera or the headset's microphone, this one. And to determine the resonant frequency, all we have to do is hit the object with another solid object and listen to the sound. The sound itself will be recorded by this camera. So I will be silent now and listen to this sound. I will hit it just a few times and then analyze that sound on the computer. Okay, let's do it. Okay, that's good and this procedure can be done using this microphone also just as a comparison and I will run Sony Vegas and record this sound so I'm going to press the record button here record okay do not prompt okay and the sound is being recorded this voice is my voice that you can see if I don't speak then there is no sound visible okay and now I will position this microphone here something like that and I will hit this metal ball it's still recording so I'm hitting it Okay, the sound has been recorded and I will save this one as a WAV file. File, render, render as, okay. And select from this menu, WAV, W-A-V, and save it, let's say, 48 kilohertz, 60 bit stereo. Okay, and let's name it headset okay and click render and the file was rendered okay we can click I mean we can close Sony Vegas don't save anything okay and here's the wave file which was recorded using the headset and I will transfer the file from this camera also onto the computer and we will compare the two sounds Okay, so this is the file from the camera itself, the previous recording, and it's an MOV file, QuickTime file, MOV. Okay, and I will drag this one into Sony Vegas, drag it onto the timeline. Okay, and I will keep only this part where the sound was recorded, which is this one. You can see those sounds and let's make a selection like so okay and now let's go to render and i will render it as a wave file with the same settings and render loop region only check that one and that will save only this selected region okay and let's name it camera and let's name it cut because it was cut so that remain only the recorded sound render okay we can close this one don't save anything we have the wave file which was recorded by the headset this one headsets microphone and the other wave file which was recorded by this camera this one Okay, and let's start the program called Spectrum Analyzer. It's Spectrum Analyzer Pro. It's a demo version. Okay, and the program looks like this. And this is analyzing the sound that is currently recorded by this microphone. So when I don't speak, there is no movement. And if I grab this microphone with my hand, 
then the sound is being analyzed okay and let's go to mp3 or wave player down here and then let's open with this button this one on the right the wave files let's open the one recorded by the camera open and click the play button and 2273.11 that's the highest frequency 2273.11 okay let's windows and r for the run notepad okay so it's 22273.11 273.11 Hertz okay so that's the peak the highest value and let's open the other file open the one which was recorded by the headset and click play and here it is Uh, I'm speaking right there. Let's bring it forward. Two two seven three eleven. There are other frequencies, but this one is the biggest one. Two two seven three eleven. Okay, so both mediums, the headset and the camera itself, picked up the same frequency, which is in this case 2273.11 Hz, and that frequency is the resonant frequency of this little metallic object. Okay, thanks for watching, bye bye.